Hello and welcome to Home Lab Engineer. This video will be covering the modification of old AMI BIOS to accept the use of NVMe SSDs. The specific system I'm working with has a Supermicro X9 motherboard. However, this guide is general and should work on a wide range of AMI BIOS motherboards. At the end of the video, I will also demonstrate how to flash the BIOS for my specific system. Before I begin, I just wanted to give a shout out to Fernando from WinRaid Forum at Level 1 Techs. He has a very detailed write-up of this process and I'll put a link to his thread in the description below. Firstly, we have to download UEFI tool. I downloaded the one specifically by Code Rush because I was having issues with the other versions. However, your mileage may vary. Please check the description, I've got a link to where I got mine from. Next, you want to download the BIOS for your specific motherboard. The easiest way to do this is to search the model number of your motherboard followed by BIOS in Google, and one of the first few links should be the correct one. Typically, you want to download the latest version of the BIOS, as this would have the most amount of bug fixes. Mine is an X9 series motherboard from Supermicro, and the latest BIOS is 3.4. Now go ahead and extract all the files into a single folder. This will make life easier for us when we go to modifying the BIOS. You're also going to need to download and extract the NVMe Express DXE. This is a module that we will be inserting to give us the NVMe capability. There are two versions of this module. Just download the normal version for now. I'll indicate later in the video where you may need the small version. The links are in the description. Now let's modify the BIOS. Open the BIOS file using UEFI tool. You may need to select all file types to find the BIOS. Now we need to find the subsection that contains the DXE modules. This is where we will be inserting our module. The easiest way to find this is to go to the file tab and then search and in the text section type in DXE. Now click on the search result and you'll be taken to the correct section. Scroll down to the bottom until you find the last DXE module and hit insert below. Select the NVMe module that we downloaded earlier and insert that in place. If you get a not enough space error, download the smaller version of the NVMe module and insert that instead. And that's it, you've successfully modeled your BIOS. You can go ahead and save this with a unique name. If you would like to verify that you made no errors in this process, open up the unmodded alongside the modded version and check that the only difference is the NVMe module. Now please follow your specific motherboard's instruction to flash the BIOS. In my case, to flash the BIOS, I first go into my IPMI, log in, Go to maintenance and BIOS update. Then I can choose the modified BIOS and hit update BIOS. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.